hi guys so this is the submersible starter or control panel so before explain the connection of this starter so let me explain the circuit diagram so this is a circuit diagram and here you can see one circle so this is the motor inside this motor you can see two windings one run winding and one start winding and this run winding you can see there's a one cable from the run winding that is the red cable that is coming from the motor and the start winding there's a cable from the start winding that is the yellow cable which is coming from the motor So there is one more cable which is coming from the motor that is the blue cable you can see the blue cable and you can see there is a capacitor which is connected in red and yellow cable there is a capacitor which is connected to red and yellow cable this blue cable that is directly connected to the neutral of the main power supply and the one side of this capacitor is connected to the phase from the main power supply if you want a switch you can connect a switch here so this is very simple as i said there is a three cables which is coming from the motor red yellow and blue so these are the three cables okay and in in this red and yellow in these two cables we need to connect the capacitor this capacitor and this blue cable this cable we can directly connect to the neutral from the main power supply and red also we can directly connect it to the phase from the main power supply you can see red is connected to uh, phase from the main sub power supply plus it's connected to the capacitor also so this is a circuit diagram uh, so let me explain same thing using uh, this uh, starter so inside this starter we can see one capacitor one switch LED diodes and resistor and here you can see five ports the first two ports this is the phase and neutral so here we can connect power from the main power supply then these three ports this is red yellow and blue so here we need to connect the cable which is going to the motor so as i explained with that diagram so we need to connect the cable uh, which is going to the motor we need to connect here like this red yellow and blue okay then in the diagram i explained there's a capacitor in uh, which is connected to red and yellow right red and yellow so here you can see capacitor you can see two black wires that are actually coming from the capacitor so that is connected to red and yellow you can see that here red and yellow so if you want to remove this capacitor you can remove these two screws just remove it then we can remove the cable and then we can remove these screws which is holding the capacitor then we can remove the capacitor <coughs> sometimes we need to re uh, replace the capacitor you can buy the same capacitor with this value uh, then we can just connect it when you connect make sure that you connect it to red and yellow okay red and yellow that is the only thing you need to check it's very simple you can replace the capacitor okay so let me explain same thing with uh, another diagram you can see the another diagram here so here we can see a red yellow blue that is actually coming from the motor in red and yellow there's a capacitor connected and the blue is nothing it's going to neutral of the main power supply and red also you can see it's connected to the phase of the main power supply you can have a switch here if you want 
and this is optional this resistor diode these things we use because of this LED if you don't want this LED light we can remove this diode and resistor so we don't need uh, this these things so these things we use only for this LED if you don't want LED you can remove this board okay so I hope you enjoy this video so please subscribe my channel please like and share the video